Hello everyone, this is Hena and welcome to another tutorial of Delineum Marketing. Today we are going to design geometric low poly effects on text by using Adobe Illustrator. So this is a very simple technique that I'm using right now to create these sort of effects. So if you are learning Illustrator, then it will be quite easy for you if you want to uh, provide these sort of effects in your design. So before doing these things, we need to check that uh, our Snap my Smart Guides are on and Snap to Point is checked. And your color mod is uh, RGB. So uh, we are going, we are ready, and we are set to apply these sort of effects now. What I'm using right now, I'm using this polygon tool here, and I'm just uh, dragging a simple polygon by pressing shift. And I want to turn off the stroke color here, and fill color should be, you can uh, take the random colors here. There is no specific rules to define a color. So because we are just going to, but if you have any design requirement, if you have any theme, then you can apply the colors as per your requirement. Now what I'm going to do, I'm taking the copy of this polygon and dragging it to right side, just like this. Make sure when you are doing these things, then your anchor point of last polygon should meet the anchor point, uh, first anchor, sorry, sorry, the second anchor point of your uh, second uh, you know, polygon. So these are the things that you need to make sure when you are uh, designing this. So it needs to look like this just like this the structure should be looked like this now what i'm going to do i'm changing the color of uh, this polygon just taking the random color here and now i'm dragging it down and taking another copy off by pressing alt and shift key and here i'm changing the color again and this time i'm taking this color and now i'm changing the color of this one to simple pink color like this and now I'm going to select each and everything together and take another copy and dragging it to right make sure you are when you are doing these things then everything is aligned and formatted so it will provide a more unified and symmetrical effects when you will apply all the polygons uh, in your text so right now we have uh, designed this and if you want to create more then you can also do that so for this i want to take this layer yeah or, or you can apply different uh, colors to that so what i'm going to do i'm taking another copy of this and placing it to like this make sure everything is aligned and pointed so for this, you, you can check it just by going into the outline mode. So I'm pressing Ctrl Y and I'm watching. Oh, yes, everything is fine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm selecting each and everything together. And here I'm reducing the opacity to around 40%. And sorry, select each and everything together and reduce the opacity to 40%. And now to take up and grab everything together place a copy Control c Control f and play compared to place in same place and drag it down when you are dragging it down then make sure your points should be aligned and in the middle so yeah this line this anchor point and this line should be equal in size so you need to make sure about all these things now what we are going to do if you want you can increase the opacity to around 60 percent so it will be quite uh, you know visible what we are going to do and now i am using simple a pathfinder you can find the pathfinder from here my already intact so i am using this and divide this uh, the divide the complete uh, you know shapes so it will be look like this after doing these things now go into the object and expand it if you want you can change the color of uh, each polygon if you want but i want to uh, stick with these colors now and here i am using simply the ungroup it each and everything together just like this to see yes now i am just taking this uh, text tool and here i'm writing my text that is genius and now I scale it up 
it like this and if you want to change the font uh, then you can also do it but i'm using the marriott uh, pro this is the default font of adobe illustrator so i'm converting it to bold and uh, here i want to reduce it a little bit like this and i'm placing it in the middle just make sure that uh, you have a you know uh, the poly effects uh, should be visible in a way uh, you know um, unified format and here if you want to increase the size then you can also do that just like this and here i want to keep it in the middle and make sure it should not uh, uh, go beyond this line so everything should be look like this so now i'm going to click and make a clip of my clipping mask so whatever left you can delete it so you can see your design is ready here and your clipping uh, your poly effect is so visible i am just increasing the size so you can easily see that everything is visible and uh, aligned in a um, uh, symmetrical format now if you want to check this then you can also do one more thing you can apply a background layer for example i am using uh, simply the black color here and uh, i am taking it to sending it to back and uh, so you can see that how it will be look like when I'm changing the color. So and now I'm changing the color to another one. So you can see how it would be different. So it's all depend upon your requirement, which type of color do you want to keep, uh, black or you know uh, whitish gray or white, whatever you want to use, then you can use it. So this is a very simple way that I wanted to share with you. Like if you want to apply low poly geometrical effects uh, on your text, uh, thank you so much for watching i will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye, -bye.